Hello everyone and welcome to this series of Hall of Fame. Today I have Neha with me who, uh, who attained the Hall of Fame in remarkable uh, six months less. Uh, she joined with us in the month of November, started full-fledged in the month of December and voila, uh, she achieved her, um, you know, her first milestone by the time uh, in the month of May. So congratulations, Neha, once more and a warm welcome to you in the Hall of Fame, uh, in this Hall of Fame series. Uh, Neha is an HR manager. She is a mother of a 25-year-old. Anybody can tell <laughs> looking at Neha. And she, <laughs> she lives in Rajkot with her husband. That's a short introduction. But I'll leave it to Neha. If Neha, you wish to give a little bit more elaborate introduction about yourself. Yeah, thank you so much, Ruma. And uh, if I have to say about myself, I'm a, uh, I have a very loving husband and a son who is in Melbourne right now. And I have a full-time job which starts in the morning at 8 and ends up at 8 in the evening, I would say. So when I started this journey, when I was thinking how I'm going to go about, but it all happened. Thanks to you, Ruma, for that. Thank you. No, the credit goes to you, Neha, as I keep saying. And the uh, the uh, the best part that I like, you know, which I uh, I'm inspired by quite a bit, Neha, is that you work full time, and yet you uh, you took out time to look after yourself. You had the family support to do that as well. So I really um, I really admire that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ruma. Okay. So um, so Neha, yeah. So tell uh, tell us a little bit more about when you um. What were your goals with which you joined the program? At that time, what were the different challenges you were facing? I remember, Ruma, it was uh, in the month of November post Diwali that I started getting, getting this uh, feeling of sluggishness, you know, uh, tiredness. I would feel low in a low of energy uh, even in the morning when after soon after getting up in the uh, from the bed in the morning i would be feeling very low of uh, energy low on energy and i had to literally push myself uh, for every task uh, since i uh, my husband used to always be supportive in everything i did not feel it so much in uh, in terms of uh, other tasks and all that but yes uh, I could feel that inside that I, I'm not myself, you know, I'm not being able to put myself 100%. And that is, that was the feeling. And I, I'd been trying to shed some cages because I thought that it was because of my obesity, my fats, that I'm not uh, getting this energy. So I was trying to do it in my own ways. As you said in your, some of your videos, you know, I would try to Google out and do some exercise. I used to walk one hour religiously in the morning. I used to do some yoga for 30, 40 minutes, but nothing helped, nothing helped. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was the time when I was just, you know, I mean, going through Facebook. I remember I was just scrolling down and I saw your video and God knows what, but I, I don't generally see because since this COVID time, there are so many oh, really? such online programs have started up, you know, they have started booming, in fact. Yeah. So uh, I don't pay attention to it much, but your video, something it clicked and I watched it, you know, and I could resonate with the problems that you were talking about, especially you mentioned about in your free session, you mentioned about osteoporosis, and that was wherein, you know, I'd lost my mother because of which, and I, I told myself, no, I do not want to go through the same kind of situation. I have a family to take care of, and my family needs me, and if I have I want to do something for my family. I need to be healthy. I need to be, you know, energetic. I cannot feel low on energy and do this kind of things. So that is how the journey began. <laughs> Wow, thanks so much for sharing, uh, Neha. So, you know, you, uh, you were feeling lack of fatigue. You knew that uh, you knew that the obesity was causing it. So when you joined, what was your weight at? And what is it at today? It had, I, I did not even realize it. I got, I was COVID struck in the month of April 21. I and my husband, we both got COVID. And... Uh, uh, 
after COVID, it, actually it happened in the time of COVID, you know, that people would say that for the antibodies to work upon, you need to eat enough. And uh, so as, uh, you know, listening to that, I started eating and uh, my weight, I, it, it shooted up to 80 kgs from 75. I was 75 in April and it went up to 80 kgs. So when I started off your program, I was 80 kgs in November. And I was like, I mean, I don't know from where these five cases have come up, you know, I mean. And today you are below 70. So congratulations on that, Neha. That is such an, that is such a huge achievement. So tell us how your journey, once you started, you know, you started with these challenges. And once you started, how was that journey? Tell us a little bit more about that, Neha. Sure, I would want to say about it. Initially, yes, there were challenges, but um this has been my uh, nature you know i would not give up the things easily and quickly i would keep looking for the solutions i kept uh, listening to your videos everything that you shared all the hall of fames and every videos that you shared every you know sing, i mean a, every, even a small piece of information i would not leave it you know i would listen to it i would listen to it again repeatedly I would listen to it so as to catch from it you know that what is it that I'm not doing so my you know uh, my focus was on implementing everything that you would say in those videos in your uh, sessions and I started following it yes I made certain mistakes initially which you pointed out during this you corrected me I was having in my morning breakfast you know because mornings are too hectic and since I have to leave for early in the morning so I used to quickly make a ball of you know oats or you know some cornflakes and add some milk and would have it quickly some add some dry fruits and have it quickly so I learned it that you know milk is not you know working for me and I stopped milk and then when gradually I started learning about it I changed my lifestyle and that is what that you know Roma, trust me, something that I wanted to do always. I wanted to make my lifestyle be healthy. I mean, losing weight is, of course, giving me a lot of happiness today. That's More good. happiness is because that I've been able to change my lifestyle. And thanks to you, Roma, I have no words. Thank no, you thanks so much, to you, Roma. Neha. And, you know, you uh, touched upon a very important aspect like milk. You know, th there are a lot of things we have grown up eating and some of them have become comfort food, number one. And some Absolutely. of them, we feel that they are good for us. They're, of course, good for us. You know, milk has benefits. However, some of the food items do not work with the with the goal that in mind. So not that, you know, every healthy food is going to work with us. Uh, for us and that is a very important aspect you brought up Neha and uh, and yes and your uh, uh, what I also you know noted down was your attention to detail that I will have to follow everything being taught uh, you know most many people <laughs> you know and sometimes even I'm guilty of that we are uh, we are very used to filtering information right okay this works for us uh, so i think this will work for me so i'll just follow this much i think this will not work for me so i'll not follow this much and we make our own judgment and decision even though it's coming from an expert i'll make my own judgment and a decision which you did the right thing by following everything to the t and and hence you're seeing this result amazing Neha, amazing thank you so much for sharing that and now with you know now that you are lighter what kind of other impact has it brought in your life and i also understand that you are a diamond member so given all of this you know uh, how has uh, these things impacted other areas of your life please help us understand that thing Ruma first of all you know with the losing of weight and feeling more energetic like I was just uh, two months back I remember I was uh, climbing the stairs and uh, one of my colleagues he pointed out you know he's telling ma'am at your age I mean he's much younger than he must be in his early 30s I'm 50 year old woman I mean but he's telling me you know what that ma'am you feel more you I, I, I find you more energetic wow. though you are much older than me and I said oh it's all credit goes to Ruma. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's such an awesome comment because you are, you are reversing your age we have only heard that in books benjamin button but <laughs> today you are proving that right neha and that is amazing <laughs> Ruma, that was one thing, you know, feeling low on energy was something that I could not take it, you know, and when that was the first difference that I realized, you know, soon after I joined your program and in a month's time, I real started realizing this difference. I was feeling more energetic and more confident in everything that I was doing and more of it, you know, the feeling that I'm doing something for myself, for my own self, for my health was giving me that kind of, you know, that happiness that it led to many other positive things in life. I started feeling more confident. And of course, you know, I mean, your dresses and everything, they start again, you start getting into it. So everything adds to it. <laughs> Absolutely, that self-confidence that comes and you said it so right, you know, it is not, I mean, oftentimes people put themselves in the back burner thinking that I am doing a huge charity to the society, but in fact, it's the other way around. When we are happier, we are able to bring happiness to others. Thank you so much for detailing that point. At least, you know, I hope the, uh, the people who are watching this will understand that taking care of self is selfless. You know, it is not selfish, it is selfless. The, the fitter we are, happier we will be and the more happiness we will we have, we will be able to give happiness to others as well, right? So amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that, Neha. And, um, and Neha also tell us, you know, if you have, um, you know, some tip that you have for the people who are watching you, you know, if they are struggling in their journey, they are struggling in their life, what would you have from your experience to share with them? Uh, one thing I would uh, always like to say is that nothing comes easy in life. So, you know, but this life is all about it. You know, I mean, you, ha you have to just enjoy it. You have to enjoy the journey. I, I know I'm going to reach my goal with you on my side, with your guidance and, you know, all the knowledge that you are giving, all the guidance that you are giving, I'll reach my journey, I'll reach the destination. But I've learned to enjoy the journey now that, I mean, the journey is far more beautiful. You know, I mean, I get stuck sometimes, my uh, weight does not go down below, but then I find out the ways. So, so is the life. So I just don't give up. I have never done that in my life ever in any other field. And I apply the same thing in this area also. I don't give up. I'm a fighter. That's what my colleagues call me. Even at my home, you know, my son, he always calls me. My mom is a fighter. She would find out the solution for every problem. And so I do, I apply the same, you know, funda over here also. The same logic applies everywhere. I would like to say that just don't give up. I mean, there is a solution for every problem. And if there is no solution and then that is not a problem. So that's all I would want to say. Ruma, I would want to thank you and the entire Navita team for always being so supportive. Thank you so much, Ruma. It would not have been possible without you because I know I have tried so many ways. Nothing worked out. Nothing worked out. I mean, I would not be able to lose even a, even 50 grams or 100 grams. And from there, I have reached to this uh, you know, place where I've lost 10 kgs, I'm sure I would lose further 10 kgs. Absolutely. Thank you so yeah, much. Absolutely. You will be there with your fighter spirit. Never give up and enjoying this journey. What more can you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> there is nothing less that will come your way. You will only get success because that is something that we tell others as well. You know, it's one thing to reach the end point, but it's also important to enjoy the goal. Many people just get so stressed out that uh, neither are they going moving towards the goal. And in, in, in that journey, they are bringing in more unhappiness in life. So this is an excellent tip. Uh, audience who is uh, listening, uh, listening, uh, I am sure you got that. Neha is uh, Neha's tip and her uh, secret for mm. success is never give up, give up, be a fighter, find a, the, if it is a problem, there has to be a solution. And if there is no solution, it is not a problem. That is very <laughs> well said. And enjoy the journey. It is more important to enjoy than always be fixed on a goal. Goal is needed. 
but enjoying the journey is also very needed that is you know that is coming from neha neha thank you so much for sharing that and congratulations once more uh, welcome you to the hall of fame family congratulations on achieving this great success and i'm sure you will be reaching the achievers club very very soon neha and all the best to you thank you thank you so much ruma thank you so much thank you take care bye bye bye, -bye.